What are the best sneaker releases of December? Let's talk about it. So we're over here living a peaceful life, man. We got our Zen tea on deck. Tea and sneakers, man. You know what I'm saying? Tea and sneakers. I like that. It's Sunday for me. I don't know what day you guys are watching this. I think I'm gonna put this list in order of priority cop for me. I guess you could say best to least. And you guys know it's that time of season, man, where there's just so many sneakers dropping. It's like, bro, you really gotta be choosy with your selections, especially if you cop like one, two, three pairs a year. I know some of you guys buy every release, man, and more power to you. Sometimes you be fiending and sometimes Sometimes you gotta keep the light bill on, you know what I mean? But coming in at number one for me is definitely these Kobe Reverse Grinches. This is an all red silhouette. You guys know the bright crimson snakeskin textured sneaker. I love these, man. I had three pairs at once. Unfortunately, I had to let a few go just to you know, pay the bills, man. Yeah, I only have one pair left. Kind of sad, man. I'm hoping I can hit on these reverse Grinches, but realistically, we know everyone's gonna be going for these. And a lot of it is for the wrong reasons. But there's a lot of Kobe fans out there. They're scheduled to drop on the 16th of December, but there might actually be a shock drop, which has been rumored. We've seen it all around. You guys can follow me on my socials or in my Instagram channel, and I'll try to update you if I hear anything about a shock drop. Because we know now shock drops aren't actually shock drops. They're more of, hey, we're gonna shock drop these at this time just so you know. Number two is gonna be the Dornbecker 3s. Now we all know the typical Dornbecker 3, my favorite, literally one of my most favorite Dornbeckers to release. It was actually designed by Cole Johansson. He was fighting cancer. It has an all varsity red upper, but we got a new kid on the block, man, Hugo. This pair is super unique. You know, it's designed with this gold H hang tag. It has a translucent sole and he decided to go with the Seattle Seahawks colorway, which obviously represents his favorite team. We know with these Dornbecker releases, they're always typically pretty limited and it being this three silhouette, it's gonna be hard to grab. As we all know, the Dornbecker freestyle collection is typically designed by child patients of the OHSU Dornbecker Children's Hospital. So this is always way bigger than sneakers and I love to support any way I can. One of the fun facts that I learned about these Dornbeckers is the hang tag is actually plated with 24 karat gold and it has a firm message that says it's okay to be different. This is a powerful mantra that Hugo finds motivation when he's coping with his Klippel Trinone syndrome condition. Sneakers aside, man, you know, it was honestly a blessing for us to just be able to buy shoes in general, to get out of bed and just live a normal life, man. There's a lot of people really going through a lot. So definitely remember to always just count your blessings, man. Side note, one thing that I've been doing, honestly, this last month is just trying to be grateful. We always get caught up in wanting more and more and more, but it's funny when you really think about things, right? For example, slight. This doesn't even compare to like an actual disease, but when I tore my knee, I caught myself before wanting everything in sight, wanting more, wanting more. But when you're hurt or you're sick, you forget about all those things. You only wish for one thing. That's just to be better, to be healthy, to be just living life. So there's my little motivation for you guys today, but let's move on to the next sneaker, which is the Air Jordan 11 Gratitude. Now, I know a lot of people are super super excited for these just solely on the fact that they are essentially the dmps man we haven't seen those in so long it kind of makes me wonder will they release a dmp pack later down the line what if the first iteration was dropped back in like 2006 and these are just more of the air jordan 11 gratitude which look similar but really in reality it's not the dmp there's no black and gold sixes with it it's just your standard 11 and i like them man i got them early on the shock drop you guys seen my live cop if you haven't go check that out but it's a really clean pair and as usual there's probably going to be a lot of numbers with these they'll probably produce anywhere from 900,000 to a million plus as they always do around holiday season we've seen the prices already drop this is like usually one of the most hype shoes to get for christmas and they are set to release this December 9th. But with that retail price, even after taxes, man, you're pushing the envelope on price. It's typically going to run you around 250 to 270, depending on where you're at and how the tax goes. But honestly, man, the way this economy is going in terms of shoes, you might even see pairs in the outlet. They're going to sell out, but I don't know, man. We've seen a lot of stuff hit the outlet. Now, I'm not saying the outlet in every single city, but you know, we'll see some 11s here and there. I truly believe it, just, just based on how things have been going. That being said, still, these are a must cop for me. I love the way these look. Now, we actually have another Kobe on the radar. It's the Pro Tro 4. This is gonna be called either the Gift of the Mamba, the Black Mamba, supposedly the day after Christmas, December 26th, we'll see it. This is gonna be an all black colorway with snakeskin detailing that gives it a really unique touch. All black sneaker you can never go wrong with. If I did pick these up, I realistically would probably never hoop in them. They would just be an accessory to the fit. But while I did put these as number four on the list, probably not something I'm going to go for, nor do I really need. I have my Solomon ACS Pro and my Black Cat 4s. I just don't really have any need for another black sneaker, but hey, these are these are cold, man. And the detailing on them is crazy. Definitely more of a collectible item that I would just put in one of these acrylic cases and just enjoy them as a piece of art. Now we're gearing down to the last two sneakers. Number five on the list is going to be these Powerpuff Girls Nike SB Dunks. I would imagine that these are going to be extremely popular, just that nostalgia cartoon network, which unfortunately got canceled, man. I would love to see like a Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like that was my show as a kid. Or even if they would have came out with like some mojo jojo sbs that would have been pretty tough as well these come in three different colorways you got this light blue pink and then kind of like a lime green they're going to be super popular and again just not something that i'm necessarily going to go 
after, but you know, still cool that they're coming out. Just to give you guys like a little breakdown of them. So the Bubbles pair is in blue. We got this really nice new buck, it looks like throughout the uppers of it but i'm not exactly sure this is just solely based on pictures i don't know if that's new buck or if it's leather like even the this even this buttercup pair kind of looks like it has a nice little sheen to it i just want to say these are more in my opinion women's shoes not saying i wouldn't wear them but you know just not for me i'm wrong with that personal opinion yeah even the blossom pair i can't tell if it's a new buck or if it's like a silky satin material i don't even have a release date on them and even on the back you have the eyes of each of the powerpuff girls we already know these are going to sell out probably instantly now lastly on the list there is rumors of these travis scott cut the check jays we already know these are going to be super limited i don't know about resale value i just don't think this shoe is that fire at all and i know some people are just hardcore travis fans and they will cop anything with that reverse check on it these definitely give me some like super bowl trainer vibes i'm just telling y'all first and foremost you, you will not see me review these i will not pay resale nor will i pick these up nor will i even try to go for them because i'm just i'm not a fan i have the one lows and the original highs and I'm, I'm cool with that i can just leave it at that i'm just not really into the hype like that anymore guys I feel like i've slowly became like independent free thinking if i like something i like it plain and simple if i don't like it it ain't for me bro but let me know what you guys think is this a shoe that you would go for damn that was an episode man i didn't even take a sip of my tea what y'all think about like sneakers and tea i like that so, so vibe there you have it man that's the best drops of december that i've seen so far we could have more release i don't really know what's going on in like the new balance puma asics realm there might be more fire dropping from them adidas might have some stuff too but this is just what's caught in my eye and things that, that i'm looking for let me know what sneaker is on your christmas list hope you guys enjoyed the video this is your boy sneaker life i'll catch y'all on the next one Run it.